Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. An important question asked by parents is, how can I tell if my child is suffering from anxiety? What are the telltale signs? So a few things to look out for are from the physical, the emotional, as well as the behavioral. So let's take a look at some of these. When we take a look at the physical aspect, your child could be complaining perhaps of headaches or stomach aches. You take them to the doctor and they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. So this perhaps indicates that they're struggling with anxiety. Other things that also show that could be that they're very hyperactive, even though they don't have ADHD. So they're very um, just anxious running around and just showing these extra signs of energy. Again, they don't have ADHD. Other things that indicate that could be in their eating as well as their sleeping habits. So perhaps they're not interested in their favorite snacks and foods anymore, just not eating. Perhaps they're sleeping in terms of just not falling asleep or not able to continue sleeping and waking up. Other things that indicate anxiety could be that they're not comfortable using bathrooms outside of the home, only at home. So these are some of the physical signs. Of course, you cannot forget the shaking when, let's say, something uncomfortable happens to them, they're in a stressful situation, perhaps they're sweating, perhaps their breathing changes as well, which can potentially lead to panic attacks. So this is for the physical. When we take a look at the emotional, well, it's pretty clear, emotional. They could be emotional themselves. They could be crying a lot. They could be very sensitive. They could, let's say, avoid interactions with their friends or avoid going to birthday parties or other fun activities. They're not engaged in school. They're withdrawn, right? So they're not really connecting like they used to. So emotional could also indicate that perhaps they throw a tantrum. So a lot of things to watch out for when it comes to their emotions. Finally, when we take a look at their behavioral signs, it could be about in terms of them worrying, overthinking. This could be indicative in terms of them saying things such as, I can't or I won't. So really asking questions around, you know, what if this happens? What if there's an earthquake? What if there's a tornado? So things that are not really related to the context, but then they'll ask these questions. Perhaps in terms of over worrying, thinking about things that are, let's say, beyond their years or thinking about the future that really doesn't have much to do with what's happening around them. Another indication could be, again, the panic attacks that could happen or perhaps fear and worry about panic attacks happening. So these are really important behavioral signs to look out for, especially if they're getting angry. And again, there's not really much to show as to why they're experiencing that. Another really important indicator of behavior is their fear of losing a parent, perhaps having nightmares, and their attention seeking in terms of wanting to get approval, either from their caregivers, their peers, teachers, parents, especially their siblings as well. So what do we do? What do we do when we notice a lot of these happening? I find that, let's say when a child comes to you and says, I want to play, can you come play with me? Right? So that's an indicator of the child wanting to perhaps connect with you. Perhaps through playing, they get to share with you or you get the opportunity to make them feel comfortable so that they can open up to you or you have the opportunity to ask the questions. We want to find what is the root cause of making them feel so anxious and worried. So this is a good start to that. And of course, I always say, please seek counseling or medical help. Going to a doctor, they can refer you to a child specialist or any mental health specialist working with anxiety in children. So please don't forget to do that. And as well, don't forget to fill out the survey to help us help you, insha'Allah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.